knee osteoarthritis can be painful and disabling. It is a very common condition that occurs as a result of wear and tear on the cartilage padding in the knee. Knee replacement surgery involves replacing the worn out joint surfaces with metal implants. Usually the implants include a femoral component, a tibial component, and a patellar component. The patient is positioned on the operating room table. Usually, general anesthesia is used, meaning that the patient is put completely to sleep. Other options are available, including a spinal block. Once the patient is asleep, the knee is thoroughly cleansed and sterilized. Sterile drapes are placed carefully around the knee to protect against contamination. An incision is made lengthwise down the front of the knee. With the skin and underlying tissue pulled out of the way, the joint capsule is exposed. Another incision is made and the patella or kneecap is pulled out of the way to expose the knee joint. Special instruments are used to measure the bones so that the appropriate implants can be chosen. Templates are used to line up the cuts so that the implants will be well positioned in relation to one another and the bone. An oscillating bone saw is used to cut the bone. Once the femur, tibia, and patella have all been prepared, trial implants are placed to make sure that the knee is well aligned and has good range of motion. The trial implants are removed. The real implants are then cemented in place. When the cement has dried, the joint capsule is sutured closed. Sutures or staples can then be used to close the skin. <laughs> 